From oolong teas to black teas to a buffet of different green teas and even a group called Puer teas. Whatever happened to the simpler days of Orange Pico and Earl Grey? With so many varieties of tea available today, I think people are really excited to try new things. And I think as it's in the news so much about the health benefits of tea, uh, I think it's just really grown in popularity. I think people are you know, more open to trying things. Tea tasting is like the new wine tasting. There are so many different varieties and flavors. However, it's broken down to six categories to make it easy for you to understand. There are green teas, there are white teas, there are black teas, oolong teas, and then there's a very special tea called uh, pu'er, which is a fermented tea. Then if we include herbals, which don't actually include tea, even though we call it chamomile tea or peppermint tea, there would be six. First, what I think people need to understand is that all tea leaves, whether it's green, black, oolong, white, pu'er, it's all the same tea leaf. So it's just processed differently. And I think a lot of people think like a black tea plant is different than a green tea plant. Um, so it is the same tea leaf, it's just processed differently. So if I look at a green tea, uh, what they do is they pluck the leaf and they dry it immediately so it has no time to oxidize. Whereas a black tea is a fully oxidized tea leaf. Black teas tend to be richer. A lot of people tend to like those in the morning, a little heavier in taste. Green teas, thousands of green teas. China and Sri Lanka are your biggest producers of green teas. Tend to be a little lighter in flavor. Um, they steep much faster, typically, than your black teas do. Jonathan, uh, matcha, that's a different type of green tea. Correct, right? so this comes out of Japan, and matcha is a very high-end tea that has been powdered. So when you prepare that tea, you're actually ingesting the entire tea leaf, right? So you're actually eating the tea leaf versus a tea leaf where you would steep it and then throw out the, the leaf afterwards. So this has more vitamins, more antioxidants than your standard tea, but also a lot more caffeine. This has more caffeine than a cup of coffee. Oolong teas are between a black and a green, so they're semi-oxidized. They're the most complicated teas to produce, just a completely different flavor, usually very almost sweet taste to them, very floral taste, very interesting teas. So pu'er teas are fermented teas, which means they go through a bacteriological process. Um, for example, this is an interesting one. It's packed in bamboo. Now this one I've cracked open. Uh, so they pack it in the bamboo, they allow it to ferment, and then they dry this over fire. Um, and then inside, when you crack that open, these are the, the pu'er tea. They would break a chunk off and then steep that. How would you describe the taste? Earthy. Very earthy. A lot of people uh, think it tastes and smell like the farm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like the name. name. <laughs> White teas have the least caffeine. They are picked before the tea leaf actually opens, which is also why they're expensive. You have about 24 hours to pick it. Light in taste, light in color. And then, of course, there's the herbal category. Right. So herbal teas contain no tea, actual tea leaf. So even though we call it peppermint tea, there is actually no tea leaf in it, which is why herbal teas have no caffeine. So you can drink those easily at night uh, before bed. Um, they tend to be a mix of herbs or spices. The best thing you wanna do is keep your tea airtight and dry. Uh, so we recommend like an airtight container like this one. So you just basically add your tea to a container. This is a lovely orange vanilla green tea have an inner seal that really blocks out the air. Over seal has a label so you know how to make your tea, what's inside. Different teas need di different temperatures. So black teas, pu'er teas, whatnot, generally tend to start with boiling water, so that's pretty basic. Boil your water, add it to uh, the tea. If it's a tea such as a green that might need a uh, temperature slightly cooler, the best thing I recommend is just boil your water. If you're making it by the cup, pour it in the cup, let it sit for one minute, brings it down, approximately 80 to 85 degrees, good for most white and green teas. Add your tea, or if it's a pot, pour it in the pot, let it sit for about two minutes, and then add your tea. After trying many different types of tea, I found the perfect tea for tea, spiced green.